this topic we're going to be learning about how to use microscopes, but it's good to understand where they came from. A microscope is an instrument or tool that actually helps you magnify an image that you cannot see with your naked eye. The invention of the microscope has opened up a whole new dimension in science. By using microscopes, scientists were able to discover the existence of microorganisms and disease, the study and structure of cells, and see the smallest parts of plants, animals and fungi. Today the microscope is still a very commonly used instrument in science and also in science classes. When using a microscope, it is important to know the different structures of the actual microscope. You place a microscope slide on the stage underneath the low power objective lens. Now this here is the stage and that's the platform where you can put your microscope slide. You can move this stage with the coarse focus and you look through the eyepiece lens. You need to focus on the low power first. You do this with the low power objective lens. So you turn this to the smallest um, objective, which is four times magnification. If required, focus using the fine focus knob to create a clearer image. Here's the coarse focus and the fine focus actually makes the image a little bit clearer. Now, when you're looking under these lenses, because it's four times magnification, the total magnification is actually 40 times. This is because the eyepiece lens is worth 10 times magnification. So a total is 10 times four. So it's actually 40 times magnified. You can change the objective to the medium power. Now the medium power objective is actually 10 times magnification. So with the eyepiece, it's 100 times magnified. You can then focus using the fine focus. So again, the fine focus when you change the objective and you can go up to the highest possible power, which is 40 times objective lens. The total magnification then is 400 times and you only focus using the fine focus with this one. After an image is at the highest possible power, it is important to draw your image as a result. In your exam, they can ask you to redraw these results. For example, red blood cells, you need to label them, make a title and also draw their scale. I will be going through the scale shortly. This here is known as the field of view. The field of view is actually what you can see when looking down a microscope. This is actually an image of red blood cells. Each little dot represents a red blood cell. And if you can see here in the center, there's just a deeper purple color that's actually a white blood cell. These red blood cells are actually stained blue, so they're not actually red under this microscope. When you draw your image, you should include the circle. So you need to draw the circle using a beaker or something so that you can draw your image inside the middle. The microscope eyepiece lens has the 10 times magnification and each lens has three magnifications, as I've already mentioned, four times, 10 times and 40 times. For the 10 times objective, your image is 100 times. And for the 40 times objective, your image is actually 400 times. How do you work out the scale of cells? Now I want you to imagine we're putting a ruler underneath the microscope. For the smallest magnification, which is 40 times magnification, there is a ruler and you can see each millimeter is, this diameter is actually four millimeters across approximately. This next one here at 100 times magnification, the ruler is actually about 1.4 millimeters across. And at the 400 times magnification, your ruler is 0.4 millimeters across. Now in science, we actually don't say millimeters. When we work out the scales, we work it out in micrometers. So for this cell here that I've just drawn on the 40 times total magnification, this cell here, to work out its size, you don't have a ruler there every time. You need to work out how many times does this cell fit across that diameter, and it's approximately four times, as you can see here. Now, if you estimate the size of that cell, what you need to do is work out the total diameter divided by how many times it fits across. So 4,000 is the diameter for the 40 times. It's 4,000 micrometers. So you divide that by four, which equals 1,000 micrometers. This cell is actually 1,000 micrometers in diameter. 
This magnification table is really important to understand and to know. As I said before, the eyepiece lens is 10 times magnified. The objective lens is 40 times, 10 times, and 40, time, 40 times magnified. The total magnification is 40, 100, and 400 times. So when we work out the diameter, it's four millimeters, 1.4, and 0 0.4. The micrometers, it's 4,000, 1,400, and 400. So these are the actual numbers that you're going to be working with the diameters for each total magnification. This is another example. For the 100 times total magnification, I have drawn a little cell here. Now, that we know that that's 1,400 micrometers in diameter. So if the cell fits across approximately 11 times, we can work out how big that cell is by using this formula. We say 1,400 micrometers across the diameter divided by 11 equals 127.3 micrometers. So approximately that's 127 micrometers across. Okay, that's it for this topic. We're going to be learning about experiments next. Thank you.